hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c multiplied by c multiplied by c divided by c plus c plus c and it is equals to 64 uh, so here we solve this problem for the values of c and i hope so you like this method if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so now here the very first thing we are going to do is here you see that in the numerator side we have c is multiplied by three times uh, so we write this c as c cubed because uh, its bases are same so we add its exponent and the exponent of these three terms are one so when you add these three ones so you get here c cubed and it is divided by here you see that uh, these are three c is added by three times so that we write it as three times of c uh, is equals to 64 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications so here uh, you focus in the denominator term and the exponent of the denominator term is 1 so and bases are same so we subtract the denominator exponent in the denominator term then it will be written as c to the power of 3 minus 1 and it is divided by 3 and it is equals to 64 and now here in the next step we need to move this 3 to the right hand side and in the left hand side we get here c square is equals to 64 times of 3 and now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to simplify the terms and here uh, we rewrite these terms as here we can write this 64 as uh, 8 square and we write this 3 as uh, uh, square root of 3 and its whole square and now here we need to combine the square of these two terms and it will be written as 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole square and in the left hand side we have this is c square so here uh, in order to uh, more simplifications we need to move this 8 times of square root of 3 square in the left hand side so it will be written as c square minus 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole square and this is equals to 0 and here we need to apply the nice algebraic formula and you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b uh, i can just write these two values here we have our a is equals to c and b is equals to 8 times of square root of 3 and now here we need to put these two values of a and b in this formula and after substituting these values our this given formula is written as c square minus 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole square is equals to this is a minus b here our a is uh, c minus b is 8 times of square root of 3 into a plus b so again we have a is c and b is 8 times of square root of 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 okay so that our uh, above equation is implies that we have these two roots uh, these are equals uh, these are multiplied by each other and equals to zero so that now we can now apply the zero rule and so according to the zero rule we can write these two fact factors separately equals to zero and it will be written as c minus eight times of square root of three equals to zero and c plus 8 times of square root of 3 equals to 0 so now here uh, from the first case we easily get the value of c is equals to 8 times of square root of 3 and from here we easily get the value of uh, this c is equals to minus 8 times of square root of 3 so we have uh, these are the two values of c uh, which we get here from the given equation uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify these two values of c so in order to verify these two values of c first we need to copy down the given question statement here it is 
c multiplied by c multiplied by c divided by c plus c plus c is equal to 64 and now here uh, first we need uh, to put the value of c is equals to 8 times of square root of 3 in the left hand side of this question statement so that when we put this value of c in the left hand side our left hand side is written as 8 multiplied by square root of 3 uh, and uh, it is multiplied by 3 times so again we have 8 times of square root of 3 and 8 times of square root of 3 and it is divided by 8 times of square root of 3 plus 8 times of square root of 3 plus 8 times of square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 64 or not okay uh, so here in the next step uh, in in the nominator term uh, you see here 8 is multiplied by 3 times uh, and uh, here we just write it as 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole cubed and it is divided by uh, so when you add these three values so you get here 3 times of 8 into square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 64 or not okay uh, so here you see that uh, this is 8 times of square root of 3 this one term is cancelled out by here and we will obtain 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole square divided by 3 and here we check that is this equals to 64 or not so here you see that 8 square becomes 64 and a square root of 3 square equals to 3 and it is divided by 3 and we check that is this equals to 64 or not this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and uh, we finally uh, get here uh, 64 is equals to 64 this shows that the first value of c satisfied the given question statement and now here in the parallel case now we will check the second value of c and the second value of c is equals to minus 8 times of square root of 3. Now we put this value of c in the given question statement so it will be written as minus 8 times of square root of 3 multiplied by minus 8 times of square root of 3 multiplied by minus 8 times of square root of 3 and it is divided by minus 8 times of square root of 3 minus 8 times of square root of 3 minus 8 times of square root of 3 and we check that is this equals to 64 or not so here uh, we just multiply uh, when you multiply a negative sign with three times it will again becomes negative and uh, we get here 8 times of square root of 3 and its whole cubed and here you get minus 3 times of 8 into square root of 3 and we check that is this equals to 64 or not so this value is cancelled out by this one this minus is cancelled out by this one and we get here uh, 8 times of square root of 3 divided by 3 only and we check that is this equals to 64 or not here you, when you cancel this one term we get here the square of this term okay so here you get 8 square equals to 64 times of 3 divided by 3 and it is equals to 64 so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and finally we get 64 is equals to 64 so this shows that the second value of c also satisfied the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos